Good morning. Welcome to Breakfast with Spaniels. The Spaniels have been ready for a couple of minutes, so they already passed out and they're sleeping. <laughs> it's a really energetic crowd around here this morning. I think they're exhausted. Abby uh, was one of the four that went for grooming yesterday. So we had uh, the four black and whites that made it through the grooming day. It was a long day. They didn't get finished until after six o'clock last night. And um, I actually got back up there around 4.30 and um, hung out with Floss and the dogs and uh, kind of helped hang on to them until about six o'clock. Poor little Freckles was very, very, very wiggly, which is kind of her thing. She doesn't see very, well, she doesn't see at all and she doesn't hear very well. So she's a little confused with what's going on. So I, I think it's a teeny bit stressful for her. Good morning, Connie. Um, so anyway, oh, Pookie is just getting further and further into my lap here. Okay, you might as well just cr climb in. Okay, uh, so we got people signing on. This is good. Um, it's another beautiful day in the neighborhood and going to be a busy day. I don't think there is such a thing as a, a non-busy day. Yesterday was just really, really crazy um, with lawyers' visits for my mom and for us and um, worked on our wills and our um, living, oh, whatever they are, living wills and all that kind of stuff. Um, and, uh, really didn't put in, uh, anything about our dogs. So I don't know. We'll probably have to go back and revisit that and figure out what they're doing with Abby looks great. She does. These ears are just beautiful and she doesn't have hair standing up in 10 directions. It was funny when she was grooming her last night, she, you know, brought all her hair up between her fingers, just like the, um, people do when they trim our hair. It was so funny. She had a mohawk at one point and I was like, oh, I think we need to leave that. <laughs> So um, any of you who are on my regular Facebook page besides my DVM page, um, which is just Judy Morgan, uh, Gwen posted a photo yesterday of all the, maybe it was the day before, of all the goodies that she received in the mail from Mila with all of her supplements and everything. And Mila seems to be doing pretty well and uh, she's, you know, hanging in there with her confinement and not being able to go to the dog park. Um, and one of these days we'll talk about all the different things that she can use to keep her entertained. Today I thought we'd talk a little bit about Chinese medicine um, and just kind of the different ways that it can be used. Um, even yourselves uh, would have loved to hear about grooming dogs with SM. We, we can do something specific on dogs with SM. All of ours have SM and they, they do great. Um, so, uh, you know, it's really all about having a groomer who is just really careful with them, understands them, and will back off when they're um, showing symptoms or they're acting uncomfortable. Abby had some um, knotted areas underneath her belly, and she was getting pretty antsy about it, but Floss was really good, just took her time, worked through it really slowly. And then there was one mat that was just really, really tight against the belly and we said oh, the heck with it and we just got the clippers and shaved it off because it was just um better for abby she was getting you know pretty annoyed by that point and it was just time to be done so anyway let's talk about chinese medicine there are five personalities in chinese medicine and they go along with the seasons they go along with directions they go along with colors they go along with personalities so every one of those um uh, elements in Chinese medicine has specific things that go along with it and they kind of go around a circle. So the first one at the top of the circle is fire and fire is the element associated with um, the real hot summer and then it goes from there to earth. Fire burns things to uh, add soil to the earth and the earth is late summer so that's kind of for us we would consider it fall late summer and then from earth it goes around to um, metal the earth gives rise to metal which is the ores that we mine out of the earth and that's the season of winter and then we go on to water and water is the season of late winter um, and uh, kind of early spring we're starting to bring on the waters to water the trees that come along in spring and that's the season of wood. So each one of those elements besides being associated with um, a season is going to be associated with different organs of the body. So let's see I started at the top so I guess I'll start there. So fire is associated with the heart and um, 
So all these dogs with heart issues may or may not be fire dogs. Certainly red dogs, because red is the color of fire. That's our Charlie. They're very vocal and their um, emotion is joy. And they, uh, the heart is associated with speech and the tongue. That's the outlet for the heart. Um, and uh, those guys like to talk a lot. Charlie is our talker. He loves to herd the girls around and bark at them and the tail's always going and he's just he we call him the class clown because he's just a really joyful dog um but when things go wrong then it becomes manic and they have what we call a shen disturbance because the heart opens up to the mind it goes up to the mind which is the shen so when we get dogs who um start you know there are people that are just we call them crazy um they're manic and that can be a manifestation of the heart so depending on the foods that we use we can either calm the shen or sounds like my ruby calf yeah rubies man they're red they are just fires they're just like ball of fire let's go that you know yay let's talk let's get everybody riled, riled up let's go um so we do need to watch their their heart uh they may have a very strong heart these are irish setters irish setters you know we think of them as being very energetic very bouncy we had an irish setter for a while oh my goodness crazy dog it can be a little bit untrainable because they're so yeah let's go and they don't really listen because they're just so busy so from there we go to the earth. The earth is ruled by the stomach and the spleen. So that's digestion. Abby is our earth dog. Earth, they just want to please. They, they're, they tend to be round in body. They tend to be yellow dogs. Yellow is the color of the earth. Um, and they can tend to like grains because the grains are yellow. So corn and wheat. They don't agree with Abby. Um, and if you have do a lot of dogs that are earth dogs will have IBS or inflammatory bowel disease because their, their system that is ruled by their earth personality is the stomach and spleen and the digestion. So when all goes well, they have great digestion. So Abby doesn't lead a stressful life. She has great digestion. We call her, I mean, she's got the rocket. She can eat anything. She's the one who will crawl through the cat door, climb up a wall to get to the cat food. She doesn't care. She is food motivated and they tend to be chubby. They just want to be chubby. A lot of overweight people are just those happy, love everybody, and they're really food motivated, so they tend to be a little more round. Um, and they're the people that can make your best friends because they just want everybody to get along. Everything is just always good. Um, Springers must, must be earth dogs. They always want to please. They can be, but they can be something else that we're going to get to. Um, so an earth dog just really wants to please. And earth dogs, um, when things are, are going well, they sing. So Pookie doesn't bark. She doesn't know how to bark. She does this high-pitched squeal. And when she's all happy and excited, she goes, Yee! And yeah, that's you. She makes this really happy squeal. I, she's never learned how to bark. It's just so funny. Um, but when things are not going well, they worry. So they're the worriers of the crowd. And that's when the IBS and the things that cause problems with their digestion, if they've got a real worrier, or you've got a real worrier. So they worry, when's mom coming home? Did, did dad go away for too long? Uh, what are we doing next? Uh, are we all going to be together? Because they like everybody to be together. And um, so if they worry too much, uh, that's a problem. Also, if they get inflammation in the stomach, the opening for the earth dogs is the mouth. So I had posted a little dog that came in for spay. It was a little Blenheim like Pookie and she was tiny and she was in for her spay and she was only two years old and she already had a lot of dental tartar. Pookie only has a couple of teeth left because she just had a really bad mouth. So when they worry, she is cute, when they worry, it will cause stomach heat and stomach fire. And so a lot of these dogs will develop ulcers and that fire raises up into the mouth and you'll see a lot of gingivitis, a lot of inflammation. We can see this in cats, the big round cats that tend to have 
a lot of inflammation. The, the big round cats are the ones that like to sit on your lap and they, you know, they snuggle and purr and, you know, like to rub on you. They're the earth cats, but they also worry about things. And so they can develop a lot more stomatitis. So from there, we go to our metal animals. Metal animals can uh, tend to be black coated, but not always. And um, they're ruled by their lungs and their respiratory system. We see a lot of metal cats that have asthma because that's what they're ruled by. So the metal likes to have, uh, because it's ruled by the lung, they like to have moisture. The lungs like to be moist. So they don't do very well in a dry environment. So I've been doing a lot of consultations for people with animals with asthma or cough right now. And it's because it's winter and the dry heat is on and the lungs don't like that. So if you put a vaporizer or humidifier on, those animals will do a lot better. They're the ones that really need that. Um, the, the opening for the lungs is the coat and the skin so uh, and the nose. So uh, dogs and cats with a metal personality may have more coat and skin problems and they're prone to dryness. So these animals will commonly have the dry coats. Uh, when you feel them, they feel more dry. And certainly they're uh, prone to more respiratory problems, more chronic coughing, more sinus problems which is kind of funny. I have a uh, gray and white sheepdog right now who has a chronic sinus infection that he's had for a couple of years. And he's sneezing big green boogers all over the place. So shocking. <laughs> um, and they can be ruled by grief and sadness. So those dogs, if they lose a partner or they lose the person that they're really attached to, they can be really, really sad. The same with the kitty cats. Okay, so moving on around the circle, we're going to move up to the water element, and that is ruled by the kidneys and bladder. Water, kidneys, those that you know, that's ruled by water. And the kidney opening is the ears. So if the kidneys are starting to fail, the animals will commonly be, I love the snoring, that's Abby, the, uh, those animals will become deaf. So if you think about older people, as we age, we lose our hearing. That's a sign that our kidneys are starting to slow down. And um, that's part of age I, I talk about all the time. If you are, um, if you are uh, born with healthy kidneys and you take good care of yourself, your kidneys have a lifespan of 100 years. So if you go deaf early, your kidneys didn't start out with um, you know, as much of that life force as they might have. So you really need to support them. Uh, the kidneys also rule the bones and the marrow, and the marrow is the nervous system as well. So um, a lot of dogs with uh, that are ruled by the kidneys and the water element will have bone growth problems, uh, bone marrow problems, or uh, spinal cord problems. Um, the kidneys also rule the hair on your head. So we go gray as we get older. That's a sign that our kidneys are slowing down. When we see animals that have premature gray in the face, those animals are giving us an indication that we should really be supporting their kidneys. So I like to start supporting them early with diet. When we lose that color in the nose, we better be supporting the kidneys. So um, Pookie's actually doing a little better, but she has lost a lot of the color in her nose. If we, if I could zoom in on my kids, you can see, if you can see Abby's, um, she kind of looked at you. She's got a really dark black nose. So her kidneys are still doing well. Um, that system is doing well for her. She's really not turning gray. She's older than Pookie. Uh, Abby is 11. Um, but her nose is holding its color. It's starting to get a little dry, but it's holding the color. Pookie lost her color when her heart murmur went up to a grade four. And I was just looking at Charlie this morning and he's lost a lot of that color in his nose, but he's 15. Um, so we just want to support the kidneys. Uh, things that you can use to help support that color and support the kidneys are eggs, sardines, ground black sesame seeds, um, what we call juvenile things. So uh, sardines are the baby fish, eggs are the beginning of life, seeds are also the beginning of life, so nuts and seeds. So we'll uh, grind almonds or grind black sesame seeds to try to get some of that color back and support the kidneys. Okay, 
So we kind of ended at where life ends. So we'll go back to where life starts. And that's with the wood element, which um, is spring. So spring is the beginning of life. That's when the grass comes back, the trees come back, the leaves come back. And um, uh, the color that goes with that is green. And the uh, wood system is ruled by the liver and the gallbladder. So if you ever see a gallbladder, if you could take it out and look at it, it's filled with green bile because that's the wood element and that's the green color. So it's also the liver. Um, the liver, the organ that it opens to is the eyes. So anytime we see red eyes or eye inflammation, conjunctivitis, whatever, that can be an indication that there's a problem in the liver. I can tell you that, yeah, the, she's nine, she's 11, and he's 15. So these guys are doing really well. Um, uh, a lot of times I'll have dogs that come in and their only symptom is their eyes are bloodshot. I want to full work up on those dogs. I want to know what their liver is doing because very commonly that's an indication that something's going on internally. Okay, it can be something as simple as what we call liver chi stagnation, which is just a lot of um, pent up energy that is sitting right up under the rib cage. So we see uh, the, uh, the, the um, emotion that goes along with spring and wood and the liver is anger or irritation. So these are the, um, the wood dogs, a lot of border collies, and this is where the springers can come in, where they get that frustration or that pent up energy. So if you own border collies, they like to be going, 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 and they need a job. So I have one client who has three border collies and they're used for search and rescue and cadaver dogs, and they have a job. Border collies need a job. I don't care if it's hurting your cats, hurting your kids. If they are tied to a chain outside or they lay around the house, they're going to have pent up frustration because that's just their personality and it can come out yeah. as anger or irritation. These are the dogs that will snap. You know, they may be really good at the dog park and then somebody crosses them the wrong way and they turn around and go, rawr, 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 rawr. they may not necessarily bite, but they will let you know. Um, so they will just, you know, they'll lash out because things are not going their way and they've got all that pent up frustration. They can also be tender up under the rib cage. So sometimes these dogs don't like to be groomed or don't, don't like to be grabbed around the middle because the liver is holding that pent up frustration. And a lot of times it just shows up as conjunctivitis or red eyes. Um, there, the liver rules the tendons and ligaments. So a lot of dogs with ACL tears might be dogs that have a little bit of liver frustration or the liver is not being fed well enough um, or they're just crazy dogs. I mean, Mila, uh, Gwen's dog, she's a really, really sweet dog. I've seen her get a little cranky maybe once or twice with the other dogs. So maybe she's got a little bit of wood personality. The thing is, we don't see it because Gwen exercises her heavily. Um, she allows her to, to keep her energy moving. So it'll be interesting to see what happens when she's down for the next six to eight weeks. Um, uh, things that go wrong with the liver, if these dogs don't, um, aren't fed well for their, for their personality, we can have seizures. Um, the liver is, uh, goes along with spring. If we think about spring, it's windy in the spring, the leaves on the trees shake, that's what seizures are. It's just shaking and that's wind. And it can be external wind or it can be internal wind that's coming from inside the body. So a lot of times for dogs that have seizures, we use herbs to calm the liver. We use food to calm the liver. Um, so, and uh, dogs with uh, small dry flakes in their skin, that can be from a liver blood deficiency and their tongues will tend to be pale and their skin is dry and their pads are dry and their nails are brittle. And we can use food to treat all of these things. So that's a really, really quick run around the five elements of Chinese medicine theory and the personalities. There's a ton of information on this out there. I did a blog on it maybe a year ago. If I can find it, I can repost it that explained each of the personalities and what we just talked about a little bit. And 
I have to tell you, watch this video again and take notes. Yeah, and if I can find the blog, I'll repost it. Um, I put, uh, my vet put my five-year-old on Novox. I worry about the liver. You should be worried about the liver. And if the Novox is something that you're going to be using long-term, you really need to monitor those liver enzymes. For patients in my practice, I want, if I put them on something like an NSAID, I want to test, if they're going on for a few days, that's one thing. If I think they're going to stay on it, I'm going to test their liver function at the beginning to see where we are to start. And then I'm going to test 30 days later to make sure we didn't have a big change. And then I test every 90 days. That's a lot of blood work. It's a lot of testing. Yes, it's going to cost you some money, but it is so, so, so worth it. If you are seeing changes in those liver enzymes, get your dog off. It is too easy to kill your dogs with those drugs. Um, they're phenomenal drugs. They do great things for our dogs, but they can also be deadly. Same goes for kitty cats that are put on NSAIDs. They're even more sensitive. There's only one or two that the kitty cats can take. Okay, I'm sure I have a busy day. It's Wednesday. It's all day at the office until 7 p.m. Um, if I can find that blog, I'll repost it. I'm really having a hard time. I have to tell you, I'm having a really hard time keep milk thistle to detoxify the liver, absolutely. Having a heart, anything natural you can use instead of Novox, there's a million things. Um, uh, we'll do that in another day. Um, so I've been having a hard time keeping up with the blogs and the newsletters and the Facebook Live and the Facebook posts. So you're getting what you're getting. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm treadmilling as fast as I can here. So um, I'll try to keep up. Uh, if you have questions, send them to me. I, I'm, tr I'm having a hard time keeping up my email. There's a, just a ton of stuff coming in. So um, you can schedule consultations if you really want my undivided attention. That's, that's how you're going to get it. Okay, can you have a combo dog? Absolutely. And there, uh, if I can find it, there's a personality test that you can actually, it's got checkoffs that you can actually um, check off the different things. And then you look at them and you say, okay, well, my dog has 10 in this category and two in this category and two in this category and four in this category. Okay, well, he's the majority of this. Remember, it's all about balance in life. So you will never be all yin. You will never be all yang. You will never be all fire or all earth. You're going to be a combination. You can't be all of one thing or you would burn out very quickly and you would be so unbalanced. I mean, seriously, if you were all of one thing, you'd be a mess. <laughs> so it's all about balance. Okay, so everybody go off and have a balanced day. I'm gonna try to balance mine, but it's the treadmill. Okay, have a great day. See you tomorrow.